And so many things in life we can't figure out, and we don't have any recourse except to laugh at them, I think. I'm driving down the highway on the way here. I can't figure out the names of the cars on the freeway. A lot of cars named after numbers. It makes no sense to me. If I built a sexy car, I'd try to give it a sexy name. But there's a lot of cars named after numbers that only make sense to me if you're trying to get the biggest number. I'll give an example. Mazda's got a 323, a 626, a 929. Pontiac got a 1,000. Audi's got a 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Pontiac got a 6,000. Saab's got a 9,000. Nissan just said to heck with it. Now they make an infinity. <laughs> Top that. Chrysler's a little nuts. They've got a vision, an eclipse, and a mirage. <laughs> a vision, which is really something to look at. An eclipse is something you shouldn't look at. Mirage, something you're not even really looking at. <laughs> is that your mirage? I think so, but I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> kind of fuzzes on you sometimes a little bit there. They got cars named for the heart of the big city all the way on out to the sticks, don't they? Yeah, for your inner city, metro. A little further out, suburban. Further out still, town car. Beyond that, villager. Beyond civilization, the outback. Way the hell out there, Saturn. Plymouth made a reliant. I had one, they call it that, because it made you reliant on public transportation, by golly. <laughs>